With the advent of season four, it's time for our experts, Shia and Shashank, to don the hat of styling and perfectionism once again for the confident, fashion-forward brides and grooms who dream of stealing the show on their wedding day. On today's show, we have Sagar and Alexia, who have come to select the outfit for the Sangeet ceremony for the groom. Alongside, we will meet Maggie and Himesh, who are looking for an Indian wedding outfit for the bride. Let's meet them. My name is Maggie Kalani, and I'm a healthcare consultant living in Jersey City, New Jersey. Today, I'm here with um, Himesh, who is my fiance as well as my bridesmaid, Jill, and good friend, Aparna. So my name is Hamish Ladd. I grew up in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, but now live in Jersey City. My name is Aparna. I grew up in New Jersey, but I live in New York City now. My name is Jill. I am originally from Shelton, Connecticut. I'm getting married at the Park Savoy in August. We are having two ceremonies in the same day. So our wedding day will start with the Hindu ceremony and that will um, occur in the morning. Then in the evening, we will have a civil ceremony um, and that will be followed up by the reception. Maggie and I um, have been dating for almost 10 years now. I proposed to Maggie in Vail, Colorado. We were on a ski trip with our friends. I flew my brother out and I flew her sister out for, for the festivities. We spent a whole day skiing, um, and on our way out to dinner, I took her on a walk by the creek um, and popped the question out there. The first time we got to know each other um, at the apple picking trip, he went home that night and made an apple crisp um, where he had a party and served it to all of his friends. And the next day, he actually came over to my dorm room and had saved a piece for me. And that's when I knew that he's a true gentleman and I was so impressed and just wanted to continue to get to know him. I'm super excited to help Maggie find her wedding lenga today. So give me a little bit more. What is your vision? Um, do you have any inspiration photos or have you looked around, Googled anything? Honestly, I have never looked for any wedding dress so far yet. Um, but I will say that I am looking to do some more modern color. So maybe pink or coral type color. Did you have a vision for Maggie? I really want um, her, her to wear a very traditional red and, and gold, you know, Indian wedding linga, um, you know, something that, you know, I could, I could see myself matching really, really well. But we'll see what <laughs> we find today. I will head in the back. I'll shortlist a few options um, and then I'll bring them out and we'll get started. My name's Sagar Parekh. I am uh, from uh, the Hartford County area in Connecticut. My name's Alexia. I'm 30 years old. I'm from Connecticut and I'm a nurse anesthetist. We're getting married uh, this fall and we're getting married at this beautiful venue called Aria. We are doing a fusion uh, Hindu Catholic wedding. We went to a Frankie Valley concert and I just thought, wow, this person who I've known since we were 18, 19 years old, who I knew was life of the party, he had this grandiose, grand um, gesture, just knowing of how devoted and loyal and how sweet he is. That's when I knew he was the one. Sangeet outfit needs to be loud. Alexia might want muted, I want loud. Um, a lot of funk, um, pops, bright. Uh, so we're in for a challenge today. Hey Sagar, hey Alexia, how are you guys doing today? Fine, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, so I've picked out three outfits for you um, and Puta's gonna start bringing them out. Let's see how you like them. Great. Thanks. We know how overwhelming and confusing it is to look for the wedding dresses and outfits for the big day. And this is where our experts step in. So, let the show begin. So it's micro velvet and it's entirely handcrafted. It is very stunning. I think I'm just a little bit hesitant about the color. It just seems pretty traditional and I'm looking for something a little bit 
different and modern. I love it. I mean, this is exactly what I would have pictured you in, pictured um, our ceremony to kind of revolve around. It's beautifully embroidered. It's. I feel like this is very standard red langa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like a lot, right? Like, mm-hmm. and you're so petite that like, I just want to make sure that like, it's not wearing you. So how about we try it on? Maybe give it a shot because Himesh really likes it. And then we'll take it from there. So it's a gorgeous silk langa. Again, entirely handcrafted, all zardozi, and it has this beautiful resham embroidery intertwined. So it actually creates a contrast of the light pink with the dark pink. I just love the dark pink highlights, but the fact that it does have that intricate embroidery, it doesn't make it seem so overwhelmingly pink and it has that modern flair that I'm looking for. So do you guys have any? I think it's not going to be that traditional langa that my, you know, me and and I think you know my family would ex- would expect. What about those two weddings that we went to, where they wore the pastel? Yeah, pink? but I can't wear pink. So, so I want it's coming I, down to <laughs> you. <laughs> I don't think I could match that in a way that would look make us look like a really really regal couple on the day. Mm. I think real men could wear pink. <laughs> <laughs> But, but real Indian men wear red, Jill. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Afarna, what do you think? Um, I really like it. Um, it's definitely like I haven't seen anything like it before. So I think if you wore that, that would, some, that would be a way for you to stand out. So Pratha is going to bring out the third option that I selected, which is sort of a fusion between the two. Great. So this is a beautiful maroon. It's not as traditional red, bright red as the first one that I had pulled. It's a little bit deeper. And what's really beautiful about it is the scallop border. Mm -hmm. And if you look closely, it has peach and coral accents in it. You know, originally had not been feeling the red. I'm still a little bit uncertain about it, to be honest. But I think that this one is very unique and it does have those, you know, coral accents. So I think this one you know, it is a little, is a little bit closer. It's not as close as the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, the maroon, I still think is a little bit off, but it, it's, it's, it's better. It's a lot better than the pink one. And like the, the accents are subtle, but like, you know, I, hopefully you still like them. So I, I actually think this could be an interesting compromise. So and- you don't have to wear pink, right? You can wear a gold Shravani and an ivory Shravani and have a pink accent to it. Yeah, but but I want that red accent. A pop of red doesn't go with a with a with a pink, pink langa. Mm-hmm. With a pink langa. I think this one's kind of interesting because it has both the pink and the red. So even if Maggie wore this, we could still get you in pink. <laughs> <laughs> All red. <laughs> All red. Well, Maggie, we have three solid options. Should we start trying these on and see how we feel? Yeah, I would yeah. love to do that. Yeah, great. Ooh, I do like that one. You know, subtle, the blues, the pinks, because it definitely um, complements mine, where I've seen, like, kind of our friends, what the guys are usually yeah, wearing. Yeah, it's, it's definitely eat. muted. Well, I, I isn't yeah, that what nice. you guys, isn't that what you're supposed to wear, something like this? Yeah. So are you cool with trying this on? Sure. Cool, so let's bring out the next one. Perfect. I think it's a little too muted. Um, I liked the other one. It had a little bit more color to it. I'm guessing you definitely don't like this then, right, Sagar? No. Okay, the next one's a more open jacket one. Yeah. I think that'll also be a little more comfortable too. Yeah. So let's see how you feel. Maybe some that colors one. with it. it would be nice too, yeah. Okay, Perfect. cool. And is this is this much amount of color okay for you? Because I know like your outfit's very colorful. This is starting to get a little loud for me, but I mean, I think he should try it on just to see what it looks like on him. I'm not opposed to that, but yeah. It might be one of those. Marrying somebody who's loud. (laughs) (laughs) So I think you should even try because this is the first like open jacket one that I'm showing you. These are designed for grooms who like to dance specifically because the problem with the Shirvani is a Shirvani fits like a tux, Um, so you can't even like bend down and tie your shoelaces. If you can do that, that means it's too loose on you. So like this, this one I definitely think we should we should try on. Sagar, you want to start trying these on? Sure. And we can take it from there. Yeah. The stage is set, albeit there are some differences in the point of view. Shia and Shashank are ready to make their lives easier. Let's move on, shall we? Ooh, I really like this one. How do you feel? I don't love it. Definitely want to go louder. 
Do you do you like the sequence in it or or like you just don't like all of it? How am I gonna dance? We can always get this in an in an open cut too. Okay. Uh, but overall, like, do you like any parts of it or or none of it? I just feel like I'd blend in when I'm the groom. And you really like this. Both of us are together. I think it would really compliment. But I do see your point of I know you like to dance a lot and you would have some restrictions there. So well, they can address the restrictions. Yeah, the restrictions are not a problem. I think once we try on the next one, I'm okay. like 99% sure you're going to like the open jacket one for sure. Yeah. Uh, so I think let's just try the second one. Let's okay. see how that goes. What was most difficult about that was, you know, having to have Alexia understand that while I may have agreed with her on some things with it, I, we, that wasn't the option. And we, I know I, we couldn't have ultimately chose or have chosen that one. This isn't my cultural per se, so I should respect him. And maybe with enough convincing from him, I'll go with whatever he decides to do. <laughs> Well, first, it's your first linga ever. <laughs> it is my first linga. You know, it's definitely a different experience wearing a linga than... Especially a bridal linga. Yeah, especially a bridal linga. It's... I, I'm not the biggest fan of the color. Open to other thoughts, though. This is everything. This is... <laughs> this is you look yeah. incredible. Like, you oh. look absolutely amazing. <laughs> You look like a beautiful Indian bride. I'm just, I'm a little bit hesitant about the color. Like, I do think this is very, like, traditionally associated with, like, the mm -hmm. bridal colors. But I don't think you should just be, like, fit into that cookie cutter. Like, do something that is uniquely you. You do look stunning, of course. <laughs> and if you weren't, heart I was very heartwarmed by you. <laughs> but I do like a more modern take, I think. I'd like to see yeah. you in some of the other options. I think it's like good to start with and, you know, get a taste for a bridal linga, but I'm not sure it's the right one for me. We'll try the next one. I know Hemish was really into that one. And I, I do understand, I, I know that red is a traditional bridal color. Maggie uh, was was a little hesitant and her bridesmaids definitely felt that traditionalism wasn't the way to go. Um, so I guess we'll have to kind of look at the, the, the other options as well. At this juncture, it is quite evident that our brides and grooms have contrasting preferences. While Sagar wants the outfit to be more colorful and jazzy, Alexia wants it to be subtle and classy. On the other hand, Himesh is hell-bent on a quintessential ceremonial red dress, while Maggie wants to explore more colors. I really like the color. I think it is super modern and fun. So far now, your face like just lit up. I love it. You know, I really haven't seen any brides wear this color. Yeah, this is much more delicate. You're beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Aw, thanks, Joe. I love Joe. it so much. What do you think, Hamish? <laughs> You're beautiful, but this lingo doesn't do it for me. You kind of look like a diamond-studded Jolly Rancher to me a little bit. Like, it's like too much bedazzle and the color's wrong. I, I, Watermelon's I really don't the best it. flavor. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not sure you might want to, like, open your mind to different versions of a, of a Hindu wedding? I, I just think the red just complements you better. And, you know, the pink, the vata, like all of it together just I, I doesn't, doesn't work for me. Jill, what do you think? But your family might have been accepting of the pink, right? They were they were there for both of those weddings. <laughs> yeah. I... Well, it's too late to leave the wedding at that point, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the rides in pink. I'm going to walk out. I, I, I think I think there was some conversations <laughs> had that? about the, about those lingas and about those outfit choices. Oh, after the, the behind wedding. the door yeah. kind of uh, and, and, whispers. And, yeah. The whispers. And I, I think the red would go. Um, Personally, I do think Maggie. Let's try the next one because sure. that is the perfect combination of a red base color, or actually a maroon mm -hmm. base color, and it does have the pop of color that this one has. Let's okay. try that. Let's try. Wow, this is better than I expected. Looks better on you than thank you. In the rack. What else do you think, though? I like it. I like the pattern. Can you move around in it? I easier? can move around. Oh, wow. 
I can always bust just a couple of moves. <laughs> nice and slow too. Yeah, as opposed to the other one, right? Yeah, you know that? Once I find the right outfit, I'll bust out a better move. <laughs> is this enough color for you? The base color is too ba it's too mute. But I know you wanted mute, but I didn't want mute. Will I meet, be muted at one point compared to everyone being flashy? Do you think she'll that? be muted with the dress that she has? No, I think your, your dress is, is very nice. Uh, but I, like in all fairness, like I kind of understand your concern. He's playing Switzerland. <laughs> all right, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would, you be, uh, would you be okay with looking at some jazzier outfits? Because it seems like Saga jazzier. clearly doesn't like the the cream base. Yeah, we okay. could look at some other outfits. Let me bring out some that are a little more colorful. Sure. Okay. Which I think it's a little too gaudy, to be honest. What, I'm not a kaka going through a midlife crisis? I can't wear something like that? <laughs> no. No? Are you sure? No, next to my outfit. Okay, so we definitely don't like this one. No, but I do have a kaka going through a midlife crisis that I could totally give that one to. <laughs> this one's a definitely not. Like Probably yeah, not. No. The next one. Probably not. No. That is bright. It's perfect. Can I see the other side of it? That blue is the exact blue that'll complement your, your, your dress. So this is definitely something very unique. You'll see more generic templates like, like those, but this one, the, the one prior to this, these, these are definitely more, more unique. Would you be okay with him trying it on? <sighs> I don't know. I don't think you should try this one on. No. I don't know. So there is not much to lose except a couple minutes of me trying it on, right? I don't know. I'm starting to get hungry. I don't know. <laughs> There's a nice Indian place down the street. You can go get food. I'll be done by the time you get that chai tea after for you. On me. Little too much detail, but I mean, if you... Too much detail? Yeah. yeah. Is that a thing? Well, okay. hey, I know I won't lose you at some Yeah! Like, I know that. Where's Wago? Where's Sagar? Yeah. There yeah. he is. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. guess then. You'll yeah. never, you won't lose me. You're yeah. always complaining that I, I'm here and there and... At least let's see him in it. Okay. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, you could try it on. I grew to love the flashiness of it. I liked the detail and the sequence of it. I thought it would complement mine a little bit more. Maybe the flashier would potentially work compared to the first outfit. That he convinced me. With the ongoing arguments, it seems like no one is ready to come to the middle ground. The reality is that both the couples have the right to select what they want. After all, it's a dream wedding for both of them. Will our experts be able to make them visualize and simplify things? Let's find out. The darker shade, I think, goes better with my skin tone and... This really hits the mark. I could definitely see you, like, wearing this. I could see myself matching to this. I could see my family embracing it. Like, I think it hits kind of all the things. I think it's it's a lot of the elements that, um, that we liked in the previous dresses, like, yeah. all coming together. Like, it has the corals and the peaches <laughs> that you were going for, but it still has, like, a little bit of that red. Yeah, I do really love the top too. Like you have like the mm -hmm. contrast with the, the small beading with the very beautiful beading on the bottom. It's just very gorgeous. Maggie, uh, do you want to keep looking or is this your dress? No, I'm pretty sure this is my dress. I don't want to take it off, so. Okay. <laughs> well, the biggest question is, Maggie, are you ready to be an Nisrana bride? Yes, I am. I'm ready to be an Nisrana bride. Well, yay! Yay! We have a little souvenir for you. So we came up with these really cute t-shirts. Aw, thank look. you. Oh. <laughs> I can't keep calm. I'm a Nazrana bride. Yes. I love it. That's awesome. And in red. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? It's just the color. It's just, it's really bright. The pink is really bright with the yellow. I don't know. I mean, pink and yellow are it's a really nice combination, right? So your problem is just with the color? Yeah. If you would go home and look at my wardrobe, what colors would you see? I mean, these colors, yeah. but... So I think it's a it's like a drop-dead gorgeous outfit uh, for Sangeet. Because your outfit's multicolor, his outfit's multicolor. Mm -hmm. it'll, it'll be really cool. He's Pretty, a professional. I know, I have to trust your opinion Don't trust it. me. <laughs> I think I would have to see like the two outfits Side by side? The or? first one I tried? The first one or the third one? 
third the one? Third the third one. one. Okay. So now how do you feel? I do like the subtle, the ivory oh, and me. the different designs. Yep. I mean, the pink is starting to grow on me. Let's see. A little bit. You definitely will stand out and being the groom, I think you should have that moment as well. It shouldn't just be me having the moment. Oh, I think I should, I could share <laughs> being, you know, sharing the person who stands out the most. I could share that. I can move around. The colors are perfect. The design's perfect. It's unique. Mm -hmm. It's like all my traits. Yeah. So, yeah. I think yeah. So, yeah. So Sagar, are you ready to be an Israna groom again? I'm I'm ready to be an Israna groom again. <laughs> Crowd me, please. Congratulations. Man. Thank you. Appreciate that. Anytime. The gleaming faces and happiness of both these couples are what Shia and Shashank strive for. Yes, the job is difficult, but rewarding, isn't it? More than guiding and just more than suggesting, like almost kind of pushing it a little bit. Um, I, I feel a very strong sense of responsibility. So a big part of my job is not just to find a lenga for a bride, but to find something that, that is culturally appropriate. And I'm really glad that she tried on multiple options in different colors and then picked the one that not only was appropriate, but she loved it. We wish Sagar, Alexia, Maggie, and Himesh a bountiful life ahead and a great marriage. Well, this journey certainly ends here. But who knows? The next story can be yours. If you like this video, hit like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel, Nazrana Diaries.